We have to warn every healer watching that later on in this video, we're going to show a clip that might make you uninstall. Anyway, if you've ever played Caster in Solo Shuffle, we would bet 1 million gold that you've had this experience before. You sit in your 40 minute queue, all while practicing your perfect rotation. The queue pops and you're ready to absolutely crush the lobby. Or not. You're the only caster in the arena, which means 15 whole minutes of getting trained. All that work hitting the target dummy just to be the dummy for someone else. Let's fix this. In this video, we're going to be learning from Chanimal, one of the best players of all time. And he's about to prove that by following three simple rules, you can eliminate 90% of the most frustrating problems as a ranged DPS, allowing you to actually solo carry. Our promise to you is if you watch this guide until the end, that you will see significant rating gains. Why are we so confident? Well, for one, a lot of what you'll be learning comes from one of the best courses on the entire internet for PvP, which we just created specifically for caster DPS in The War Within. It covers everything from interrupting, kicking, kiting, everything you need to know to solo carry games, even while under pressure. We've even rolled out our brand new damage guides for The War Within that teach you step by step how to top the scoreboard. So if you end up finding this guide helpful, and trust us you will, then you should check out these courses after. It's completely risk free to try them out, since if you don't rank up while actively using skill capped, you get your money back, no questions asked. We're even offering a discount you can only unlock through the link below to celebrate the new season. So click the link in the description below or learn more at the end of this guide. Let's be honest, in the year 2024, it is almost impossible to get away from melee by yourself. We could go on and on about mobility trading, but the truth is that sometimes you just can't get away. So how can we reverse pressure when it seems impossible to even breathe? As it turns out, we have to go fishing. It's good to think of melee DPS like a fish. They're a little bit stupid and very easy to bait with anything shiny. And in this case, the bait is going to be you. Sounds weird, but stay with us. Our goal will be to act as bait for the enemy melee, leading them into a bad position in order to trap them and their healer at the same time. The mistake we want to avoid is tanking damage in the center of the map, giving the enemy healer free reign to do whatever they want. Instead, we simply need to run in a parallel line away from the enemy healer, and then drawing our stupid little fish out of LOS. The enemy healer has no choice but to chase. They will now be in a position to be CC'd by our team. This might all sound like a bold strategy, but it can actually work. And Chanimal is about to prove it to us on his Boomkin, a spec which is an absolute punching bag in Solo Shuffle with one of the highest death rates. Surprise, surprise, Chanimal will be the target in this matchup. But let's pause here. As you can see, we have a very angry warrior and the entire Zoo Tycoon training us. And check out the enemy priest. With their positioning, they have free reign over the arena with everyone in their LOS, which means being able to heal or even damage whoever they want. Now, it's time to go fishing. Chanimal will bait the warrior slowly around the pillar with our number one goal in mind, which as a reminder is to make sure the enemy melee stay out of their healer's LOS. And that's exactly what will happen here, as the warrior is now completely out of their priest line, who is now in a vulnerable position for a CC chain. Our bait works, and now the warrior has no choice but to pull away, giving us a few seconds of breathing room. Again, the biggest mistake 99% of players make is simply being a punching bag for the enemy team. They have no idea that by making a very simple positioning adjustment, they can actually reverse pressure. Just look at this player here. They're barely even moving, allowing the enemy healer to do whatever they want, which practically eliminates any chance of counter pressure. This kiting strategy can work on any map and is extremely powerful for any caster, especially if you have mobility ready. Just look here at Jamili, who will be constantly dragging the demon hunter further and further away from the enemy priest by blinking backwards. Even as someone who is typically a highly aggressive player, Ja knows that he can't just let the healer do what they want. This is a checkmate situation for the DH. Either they chase and risk overextending, or they don't chase and let a mage free cast in their face. As a reminder, if you found this tip helpful, we have entire course with more just like this at skillcap.com so be sure to check it out after the video is over so now you know how to abuse positioning when you are the target but what if you're not do you sit there laughing at your teammate who's now getting hunted down no but now instead of going fishing we need to play goalie stay with us let's go back to the drawing board once again the goal is to make sure the enemy healer has zero fun do you know what every healer hates the most themselves just kidding it's crowd control which you probably have here we are once again on any map, and now we're the ones who get to have fun. First, imagine that there is a line that divides the arena in half. You are now going to play goalie, preventing the healer from ever crossing this line by standing directly in between them and their team. 
If they peek their heads out for just a second, you will harass them with CC. Let's go back to our friend Chanimal. Notice here how the enemy healer is on one side of the map with their team on the other. Because we're free, it's time to play goalie. So let's imagine that line going through the center of the arena and let's get ready to bully the disc priest. Chanimal will simply stand directly in between the healer and the DPS, acting as a goalie and forcing out dispersion as the priest is simply too scared to cross the map. And the moment they peek their head out, Chan is ready with a fear. But we're just getting started. At the beginning of this video, we warned any healer that what they're about to see might be incredibly offensive. Now, if you want to see peak goalie performance, look no further than Thessia, who's about to ruin Mez Day by playing goalie. Here, we need to draw our imaginary line once again, and now watch what Thessia does after the polymorph ends. Healers, close your eyes, because he will build an actual wall to separate Meh from Chanimal. And then even using Dragon's Breath into a knock to keep him from crossing. He will then blink on top of Meh with Snowdrift to continue the CC chain with a stun, and oh my god, we warned you that this was going to be disgusting. The mistake we want every caster to avoid is just hanging back and trying to win passively when you're left free. Instead, you could be spending your time playing goalie and harassing the healer. Between CC, kicks, knocks, and roots, you can take the healer out of the game for an eternity by yourself. The best part of playing goalie is that you can interact with any target in the arena. By standing in between the healer and the DPS, you have full control over the game. So now we know two out of the three positioning rules you should follow. But now as karma for the healers we triggered earlier, we're going to help you out with rule number three. It doesn't matter if you are baiting melee behind a pillar or getting ready to play goalie. There is one thing you should avoid doing. Whatever you do, avoid running directly on top of your healer. We all know that PvP is becoming more and more like Mythic Plus, and do you know what the best specs in PvE always have? AoE damage and AoE CC. As it turns out, these mechanics are super broken in PvP too. Did you know that Feral Druids get a massive healing increase whenever they're able to cleave multiple targets? Yeah, not only are they killing your entire team, but they're becoming Omega tanky while doing it. Virtually every class in the game, and especially melee, gain a huge DPS or CC advantage whenever targets are stacked. And the last thing you want to be doing is inflate the ego of another rogue who thinks they're making a sick play AoE silencing with Garrett. Running on top of your healer is a very easy mistake to make, and trust us, it even happens at the highest ratings. Players are drawn to their healers like a moth drawn to a bug zapper. You'll notice that while Chanimal is playing goalie or baiting DPS, he is maintaining what is commonly referred to as triangle positioning. What this means is keeping distance from both of his teammates, allowing everyone on his team to interact with each other and the enemy players at the same time. This is literally the most broken positioning you can achieve with another ranged DPS on your team, and is the number one way to maximize damage and land more CC. If you found these PvP tips helpful, be sure to check out our brand new course that covers all of the most important mechanics for ranged DPS, jam-packed with years worth of knowledge. And after that, head over to our class courses to learn everything you need to start maximizing damage in the War Within. Every season, we work with the best players in WoW, just like Chanimal, to produce the best PvP guides on the entire internet. You can try everything Skillcapped has to offer risk-free with a 400 rating gain guarantee. If you don't rank up while actively using Skillcapped, you get your money back, no questions asked. You can unlock all this through the exclusive discount you can only access through the link below. Alright, and that will do it for this one. We here at Skillcapped want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.